Hey what's up guys, this is Yoshifire8, and today I'm going to be making a video just kind of covering my current Pokemon TCG collection. Um, so for a bit of background, I got into Pokemon TCG as a kid uh, around 2004-2005, and I haven't been collecting ever since, but this binder here contains a lot of the old cards that I used to pull from those EX packs and some pop series as well. Uh, but um, there's also mixed in some newer cards. Uh, kind of got out of Pokemon during the pop series and then slowly over many years I just got back into it. Um, and I believe like 2018. Just around when uh, Sun and Moon new sets were coming out. I remember Celestial Storm came out. Um, but essentially, these are just kind of some of the old cards that I have. Um, and this isn't a complete collection. I think I have more in other places or bags, but this is our binder shared between me and my brother. Um, so, you know, I'll make some comments on any cooler cards. Like this is pretty neat, this uh, Sceptile Hollow. Um, and, you know, unfortunately I don't really know what a lot of these sets are, what a lot of these cards are from. Um, but I'd assume most of them to be Diamond and Pearl, EX series, maybe some Pop series, um, and older ones as well. But, you know, keep in mind this will be kind of a lengthy video, there's a lot to go over. This is just showing things that I already had previously before I started collecting again, and then we'll get into some of my newer stuff uh, later in the video. And then end off with some of my sealed product, um, which is very small to be honest. I don't have a lot of sealed things, but... So... You know, I mean, mostly looking at older cards, um, since they do lack the flair of you know, some full arts or rainbow secret rare cards these days, you know, you have to appreciate that artwork. Um, this Rayquaza is creased so badly, but, um, you know, as kids we never kept our cards in sleeves and played with them and, you know, I don't really regret it, you know? I mean, I could have kept all these in pristine condition, but that was really just never going to happen. As a kid, you're... I wasn't thinking with the collector mindset at all back then. I just wanted to play the game. So, most of these cards are very worn, scratched up. Not in good condition at all. None of these, uh... Look at this sweet holographic. Yeah, none of these, I don't know if they really, um... Work for selling, because they're so... Bad. I mean, I'm sure some of these cards have enough demand where... It would warrant it, but... Most of them... They're kind of just worthless. As you can see, they're kind of ordered by Pokemon a little loosely, and uh, Evolution as well. But yeah, I mean, right now in the Pokemon scene, it's um, it's pretty sad to see what's happening with all the inflation of prices that I don't really think is necessary. Like. I haven't been able to get any Shining Fates, and I don't think I'm going to in the near future at all. I mean, I checked my Walmart um, day of release, but I didn't just go there early in the morning or anything. I had to go there for groceries anyway, so I just checked the aisle. It was like 3 p.m. or so, and there was a Shining Fates pin collection box there, but it was empty. Which I was kind of surprised about, because I live in a pretty small town, and, um... I didn't know they would stock, 
uh, first day, because I see a lot of people saying I didn't even get any stock at all. But, you know, I guess it happens, but yeah, I mean, the past few months, that Pokemon shelf has been completely empty. This is XY Evolutions, by the way. I love this card, though. That's an Unseen Forces hit on top. But, yeah. Our Walmart has been empty. They removed the uh, Pokemon section out of the toy section. Now they just have the checkout aisle. Which is fine. There's never anything very good in the toy section anyway. I mean, I guess they would put the Hidden Fates GX collections there, but... Except I suppose uh, people who want to rush in and buy product right as they're stocking it have a better chance of just running in. So they just have to go right up to the checkout. They don't have to go try to find it in the toy aisle. Oh, I love this uh, Kranidos holographic. This uh, Armaldo as well. Um, <laughs> as you can see, this Armaldo is um, my most prized card. Look at that. I mean, how did this even happen? Right? Like, did, did it get run over? Dunked in water? Like, I don't actually remember if this was... Supposed to be a bleed. Like, see all the sparkles there? And they're even where you're not... Where it's not ripped. Where it's not silver. So I don't know what the story of this card is. I honestly have no idea, but it's in extremely bad condition. Creases and extreme whitening on basically every corner. So, you know. What are you gonna do? I think it looks kinda cool though. Also I have this uh Gastrodon West Sea. I mean, I think you just kinda have to sit and stop and appreciate some of the Cool reverse hollows from these EX sets. But, you know, I might stop talking a little bit and speed this up just so we can get through this, or else this video will be way too long. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This card, right, is actually fake. Um, it's supposed to be the Diamond and Pearl Secret Rare Charizard. Um, so you see this 103 out of 100. Uh, but you can obviously tell just by how it feels that it's very flimsy and the HP is much too thin uh, text. So, and also the color is way off. So, I think my brother traded for this card and, you know, we got kind of uh, screwed. This I love, car. I love though. Marowak is one of my favorites. Cubone Marowak uh, and Golduck, as you will definitely see coming up in this video. So, you know, this cute torchic. Um, so yeah, you know, the, these are kind of just all the common, uncommon, hollow rare, any cards we got, we like to put them in here. I don't think we opened too many packs as when we were younger. Um, you know, just kind of every so often, if there was a holiday or something, or special occasion. This Fernape, I remember, we would always fight over when we were picking our decks for battle. Um, simply because it had a lot of HP for the time, and the flare-up attack was pretty great as well. We always used to argue over that one. Reverse Typhlosion is very nice. Evaporating Heat. Cool. Oh, right, okay. This is a ho -Oh holographic from Pop Series. And I wrote No Knee, which is my nickname on there. Because I didn't want my brother to think that it was his and take it. So, right when I pulled it, I wrote No Knee to, uh, you know, claim my, claim my knee. You know, 
I'll claim my property. You know? and I think it, I think it paid off. You know, I I wouldn't I don't regret doing that. You know, I, who knows? Like if I hadn't have done that, this, we might not even have this card. You know, my brother probably would have traded it away. So we can thank uh, young me for doing that. Oof. Black Star Intake promo. This card is beautiful. I don't even remember when we got this, or why, or... This, this is definitely from before we started collecting. But, you know, we have one, I don't know. It's, uh, ooh, yes, it's Flareon EX. It's amazing, too. That's the World Championship one. Um, coming up here, we have an interesting card. So, this card... Um, this card right here is from Pop Series, and I think when we got it, you know, I thought, oh, this is cute, you know, but I did not notice that it is a misprint. As you can see, that gigantic line down the middle. Uh, so this card is heavily damaged, um, but it's a misprint. So that's pretty neat. I don't know how much that's worth. Uh, I know about a year ago when I checked that, it was at $50. But I'm sure it is at least a little bit higher now. But yeah, we loved collecting Raichus, Pikachus. I love this Holland's Electrode. Very nice with the silver border. Um, Sorry about the light kind of just directly glaring off that card there. Oh, Ampharos Hollow. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Well, that's the first edition right there. that I'm going to pronounce this Raikou. Um, I think it's actually Raikou, but I always just pronounced it Raikou as a kid, so this Raikou Hollow is very nice as well from Pop Series. Charmander Delta Species, Charmeleon Delta Species, and then that missing Charizard spot. <laughs> oh well. And ooh, Latios. And that's all for that page. Have some cool uh, psychic cards coming up. I think psychic cards are probably my favorite. I just love the look of them. Uh, like this card right here, right here. This is probably my favorite modern holographic I've seen. I love it. It looks amazing. That artwork is great. Um. Sabrina's Abra promo. It's pretty nice. That Bennett. Bennett half art, or whatever you want to call it. And there's that page. And some drowsies. I've always liked that line. There's Matang and Dabbing Duskull. Let's add Duskus along. Holographic. Okay, some unknowns here. Holographic unknowns. I never cared for unknown. Don't care for it now. And I always love these with the silver border. Autograph. 
This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite cards in this binder. I just love the, the gold writing Amistar. Uh, the Hole and Phantoms logo is really just nostalgic for me. Like, it kind of reminds me of like Scooby-Doo or something. I don't know. Something about it. It's just, I love it. Some Garnival Wars. You know, a lot of these Pokemon, as a kid, I never knew they were very popular, you know. You know, like, Gardevoir, different Pokemon, some Pokemon, you know, I kind of knew, oh, you know, they're a pretty popular one. But I always just thought the Dialgas and the Palkias and the Legendaries were always just the cream of the crop. I didn't think that people would pay a lot of money for a Pikachu. But that's usually the case. Pikachu's, Eevee's. Um, different things like that. And here we have some of these. I love these old dark cards with the gray box and the dark black border. I think it looks so cool. I should have kept it like that. This looks so nice. Like this card. Very nice. Dark Dragoner. Coming up is one of the uh, other favorite cards I have. Just on this next page here. Ooh. Fish history. Not bad. Zorork. And then here we go. Cybernetar EX from Pop Series. This is a beautiful card. You've got that hollow pattern border and the black and gray pattern. I love it. And Tyranitar is one of my favorite Pokemon, so that helps. Getting into the normals now. Ooh, got that Murkrow. Got the Steel Pokemon. We have a few of these in this binder. I have more than I thought, actually. Some of these are kind of just boring. You know, and if you see any of these, I, I mean, I haven't gone through and researched all these cards, but if you're um, more knowledgeable about <coughs> selling prices than me, if you see some card, you're like, oh, well, that's a, that's a pretty valuable card. You know, you can leave a comment. Let me know. I have no idea. <laughs> this, I, okay. You know, is it just me, or does this artwork kind of make you uncomfortable? Call for family. I don't know. Something about that. I don't like it. Too humanoid. So, as you can see, I mean, some of these are pretty new cards. Um... Some of them are very, very old. Um, also, another disturbing artwork. And, you know, sorry if the camera work on this video is kind of eh, trying my best, but it is kind of tough with a phone holding the binder as well. Um, but I think it should be fine. You know, only thing I might, might be disorienting everyone with the way I'm moving the uh, camera, but whatever, you know, what, are you, what are you gonna do? Show on a binder. So these are all fairy Pokemon, these are gonna be new. And <clears throat> so this is gonna be a little spoiler coming up, because I put all the duplicates of my other binder in here, but first we have these uh, great cards. These are just cards that I've obtained recently, or um, just like especially from here, or just what I've opened recently, and I put them here. So, as you can see, this um, Drifloon Reverse has the best centering I've ever seen on a card. <laughs> um, 
This is a McDonald's promo, I believe. Legend Box Reverse. Mew from XY Evolutions. Some of these are gonna be like promos, Hidden Fates 10 promos, Palkia Reverse, Red Eyes Hollow, Willaboom Hollow, you know, Steve. It's very rare. And the Minecraft set. I think the Steve and Creeper are the the most rare ones. Creeper Hollow, I think, is the most expensive one. And we have the evolutionary line, evolutionary line, and then this one is unfinished, so you know, I'll just look into getting that one <laughs> done. And then here are my duplicates. As you can see, you know, I'm a Hidden Fates tin connoisseur. Every time I do Burning Shadows, I seem to pull this idiot, so yeah, I'm kind of tired of that. But uh, yeah, so that's the rest of this binder. Now I'm going to get into the next binder. Okay, so here's my new binder. So these are going to be cards that I have recently obtained. So we're going to start here with Full Arts and Secret Rares. Um, we have a lot of great looking cards here, and there's a variation here of you know, things I uh, pulled and things that I bought. This is a Korean card that I pulled from a Korean Ultra Shiny GX booster box. Um, some of these are promos as well. The Dedenne promo. This uh, uh, Korean Dragapult VMAX. Some other cards here. This one is a single I bought. Um, this one I got from a booster box. Cosmic Eclipse. Back when that set came out. That was very fun. And so set up, I'm pulling that. This was a single I bought. This was a single I got. Um, this is from that same booster box. Um, so, pretty cool. This was... Uh, this is the rarest card existence in the world, Wally Duck. Uh, I'm sure no one else has it, so pretty rare. Only one in the world. Here are my Vs. Some just nice Vs. I mean, personally, I think normal Vs, they're... I don't know, I was going to say better than GXs, but... I think they're still inferior to EXs. I... I don't know. Like some of this, some of these look better than others, but a lot of them, they just seem kind of low effort. And here we have these last three. And this is all open space for future packs. Which, by the way, to mention, um, I am getting some product in just few days, probably next week, I'll get some stuff coming in. Um, it's some random things, uh, some of it is from Walmart, some of it's from eBay, but I was thinking, you know, I could do a little opening video for each one of them, and kind of just show you what I get, and talk about it. So that can be fun, uh, so you might see a new video with an opening coming out in the near future. So I go through these GXs. And again, you know, I'm not one of those types of people who can get <laughs> Pokemon stuff to open every day or every week or sometimes not even every month. But, you know, it's just been kind of casually opening stuff whenever I have the money and I find something. Um, and this is kind of just what I've amassed, so... You know, I don't really take it too seriously. I'll, I'll keep on the lookout for deals and things coming in stock, but I'm not one of those types to uh, be too obsessive over it. And uh, this right here uh, is probably my favorite EX I own. Uh, I just love the look of the splashing water and the shiny Gyarados head. It's very neat. But, um, 
yeah, so those are that. Here are McDonald's cards I've gotten so far. Oh, well, and I managed to pull the Bulbasaur, my first pack. That was pretty uh, awesome. And then I got the Fennekin. But luckily, I did not get any duplicates out of the two Happy Meals that I've gotten. And here are some Prism cards. I remember these back from some of the other sets, like Ultra Prism. I think they were in a lot of the ones around there. I don't know. No, I can't recall which of the sets had them, but it seemed like they were kind of a thing. And then, some breaks. Then we have these character rares and just general... Well, this is the only one that's not a character rare uh, from the Generations box, but this was just bought by me as a single because I think it looks really cool. I like the city in the background and everything. So, pretty neat. Then we have our shiny vault. So here we have a shining Arceus. Or Arceus. It's a shiny Bagon from Diamond and Pearl. This was actually from my grandma. She bought a tin of random cards on Facebook Marketplace. And when she first gave it to me, I thought, this is all just going to be common. Why did you spend money on this? But, in fact, the seller must have uh, not known... Oh, yeah, I should, I should cover that as well. I, I didn't say anything about that here. Let me go back. This. This is from that same tin. It's in very bad condition, but I, I can't take it. I don't want to take it out right now. It's in a sleeve, but it's in pretty bad condition. But still, that's really cool that that was in that Facebook Marketplace tin that my grandma just randomly purchased. And I'm pretty confident all the cars in there are real just kind of looked at them, um, didn't notice anything weird about them. This is a reverse Charizard from my Vivid Voltage Booster Box. And this shiny Dragapult V is Korean. I got it from... Um, I, I bought one Shiny Star V Korean box on eBay because the Japanese is way too expensive. So I just took a chance on the Korean and yeah, I, obviously I didn't get the Charizard, but Dragapult is pretty cool, so I was pretty happy about that. We have this Korean Electrode from Hidden Fates, or Ultra Shiny GX. I think Korean. Uh, a lot of duplicates here in Korean. See so yeah, a Korean Matang on the next page, yeah. This, uh, what, two Poibles? And then a Korean Rayquaza. This was pulled from my first ever Ultra Shiny GX Korean box. I bought two. The first one was this. The second one was that Electrode. Very cool. And then I got this amazing rare uh, Yellow Toll from my Shiny Star V box as well. And then I just threw this Korean Orangaroo hollow because I like Orangaroo. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. Let move on. Here is my my holy grail. My Golduck collection. So, as you can see, I have the Japanese Misty's Golduck holographic. This is in near mint condition. Um, Dark Golduck from Team Rocket Returns, I think, or something like that. Team, something Team Rocket. I don't know. I'm bad remembering the sets, but this is from the original Team Rocket, first edition, a break, fossil first edition, Delta Species, this is not in good condition, I need to get another one in Near Mint to finish my Near Mint collection. This is an EX Sandstorm reverse, Secret Wonders reverse, uh, I believe this is uh, Hargold Sil Silver Triumphant, this is from Platinum. This is Cosmic Eclipse. This is... Uh, I actually don't remember. Maybe Tima, I think. Breakpoint. Um, this is... Well... This is actually made by my sister for me in a pack. Um, she made me a custom card pack, so this is a very treasured card of mine. This one, I think, is the Tima. I don't know... This one might be Sun and Moon Base... Perhaps I don't know. Golduck from s something. I don't quite know. 
about that one. And this one, I think, is... Ah, oh, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. And then here are my Cubones. We have some beautiful looking Cubones here. This is by far my favorite one right here. He's at the fair. As you can see there. Missing his mom. Then we have some Pikachus. These are some cute little Pikachus, you know? Who doesn't love Pikachu? This is my favorite one. Um, I think it was from a... It was from a blister, or a, one of the packs where it comes in a little plastic paper thing and you get a coin and a card with it. This was the card. Some other Pikachus. Pikachu, Pikachu. Pretty nice. And then we have my pack art collection. Um, every set I get, um, starting a while back, I would set aside a pack art and put it in my binder. So kind of just browse these here. I remember putting this in back when Evolutions was just like, <laughs> uh, you know the days. If you know, you know. No one wanted the Evolutions. And still to this day, every time I open an Evolutions pack, it's the same thing for me. Beedrill, regular, rare, or Ratata. Uh, or eradicate, I, I mean, eradicate regular rare, it's, it's, uh, it's a bad show. So this here is a first edition French Farfetch'd. Don't exactly remember where I got this, but I have it somehow. Um, here comes Demon Rocket from Evolutions. Some other cards here, first edition Hoot Hoot. Uh, Mankey from Jungle, a first edition Marowak. Uh, Metapod, Shadowless, uh, First Edition Meowth. This is actually a pretty nice card. I don't know what the condition is like. I should check it. I've, I haven't checked this card. It's probably pretty poor, but let's we'll see. Yep, pretty poor. But it's still not absolutely horrible. It's still... Mm, I don't know if you could put that in moderately. It had some stains on it, it almost seemed. First edition Moo Moo Milk. Professor Oak. The holographic Dark Wheezing from Rockets. This is also in poor condition. A Zapdos Holo from XY Evolutions. And finally, a Zapdos Holographic from Base Set 2. Uh, a lot of these uh, vintage cards I got on Etsy from a seller who is doing a vintage card bundle. And then on this last page is some cards that my sister made me. This is the, the pack she made me. Um, kind of just funny, cute. This is my favorite one. Pretty good. So, now I'm going to move on to a summary of some of my other cards and a set that I've collected that do not go in this binder. Okay, so here's actually a mini binder of a set I just finished a while back, which is the Detective Pikachu movie set. Um, so I've gained every Hollow Rare through packs and buying singles. I did pull the Charizard out of a pack, that was pretty fun, um, but I did have to buy I think two or three of the cards because I just didn't want to buy packs anymore, and the singles are so cheap. So you know, this is, you know, someone might see this and think, I mean you completed a super small set, what's the point? But this is a pretty good accomplishment for me because I've never completed a set before. And it's just kind of fun to be able to say, oh, I have an entire set of cards. You know, even if it's this small. And then here we have actually the GameStop uh, Snubble from GameStop during the movie release. So I kept that in the wrapper. And then here we have some empty slots and then just some reverse hollow energies. Sorry if my fingers are in the way. 
Love that lightning energy. And then, um, these beautiful energies with the Pokemon silhouettes in the background. These are old from when me and my brother used to collect. Try to get this. this is my favorite one, the Lugia. And then some Fortnite cards from just like I bought like one pack of Fortnite cards. We're not even gonna look at those because they're disgusting. Anyway, let's move on to my most valuable cards. Okay, so here is a stack of my cards that are the most valuable, as in they would be worth to grade. And I have graded cards, but I sold them all. One of them was a Hidden Fates Glaceon Shiny Full Art, another one was a Hidden Fates Gardevoir Full Art, another one was the Hidden Fates Metagross Promo Full Art, another was the Hidden Fates Zorark Full Art Promo, and then the other two were a Mega Pidgeot EX Full Art, and a Mallow and Lana Trainer Full Art. But here we have some great cards that are worth something at least. I think this is about 70 graded. <laughs> Here we have the Armored Mewtwo. I'm kind of at a loss at why this is such an expensive card. Simply because it was a promo. But it is very valuable. Next we have a Charizard Holographic from a, t uh, a Lunchbox Tin. Love that. I don't think I don't know if these come with come with swirls anytime, but mine doesn't not have one. Then we have a Charizard holographic from XY Evolutions. Now you might be thinking, oh this is so amazing. Sell it now, grade it now. There's one problem. I pulled this right when I got back into Pokemon. And sadly I did not sleeve it and let me just show you the product. So, as you can see, the card is almost perfectly centered. But, um, yeah. So, and there's a little white dot up there too. And so, you know, I kind of <laughs> screwed the pooch on this one, but... You know, it's still a really cool card to have, and I think someone would still be willing to buy it, just for not those huge prices that you see some of them go for. Because people just like seeing a card that looks like vintage, and they might not look at the back of it, they might just care about the front, so. Could still get probably a little bit of money from that. Then we have the Charizard GX promo from Hidden Fates Tins. Pretty nice card. Then we have a Charizard GX from Burning Shadows. Next is the Charizard V Full Art from the uh, Champion's Path Elite Trainer Boxes. And then my favorite Charizard card I own, the Mega Charizard EX Full Art. And this card is in perfect condition. I would say the centering is perfect, nearly, and the corners and edges look fantastic. So I'd definitely send this one in for grading, I think it could definitely get the 10, and um, you know, maybe I'll do that and do a return video or something like that. Even though, knowing PSA, it'll probably come out, you know, might be after I die. There's a Drampa. Hidden Fates. This is a Jirachi Amazing Rare from my Vivid Voltage Booster Box. I got another Vivid Voltage pull coming up. Lucario Shiny from Hidden Fates. This is. Okay. This is a Korean Full Art Marnie from Shiny Star V. When I first pulled this card, I thought, oh, cool. You know, that's neat. I like it. But I didn't really think anything of it. Until. <laughs> I went and looked for this on eBay, 
and I saw that people were selling it raw, ungraded, Korean, for $150. I was like, what? <laughs> what? So, needless to say, um, this is a pretty valuable card, and I think I got a pretty good one. Centering looks pretty great, no edge wear or anything, and I'm keeping it safe in this card saver, so that one is a winner. Mimikyu, character rare from Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, Bird Trio, Rainbow Rare from Hidden Fates. Here we have a Pikachu character rare. Now, as you can see from the front, the centering is not immaculate, but I think it's definitely better than some. And let's just look at the back here. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. There is a little white dot right there. That's what I noticed when I was studying this card. But I still think it could probably get a 9. Maybe a 9, maybe an 8. I don't think it would get a 10, but... You know, sometimes PSA surprises you. And we have a Pikachu from the figure collection. Love this card, but as you can see, the centering is absolutely horrendous. So this probably has no real, real grading value at all. Um, it just looks kind of bad. Then we have the big boy. This was my pull from my... Uh, Vivid Voltage Booster Box. It was a weird box. I only got one full art. It's kind of odd. Um, no rainbows, no golds. Just this. Um, but, you know, couldn't be happier. So, what are you going to do? Villaboom Gold from, what is this, Darkness Ablaze, I think? This is a great card, and... It's centered okay, I'd say. It's not, you can kind of tell left to right, the left is a little thicker, but it's pretty good. This one could definitely be worth getting graded and it's really, really cool to look at in the light. And we have a Shining Jirachi from Shining Legends. Great card, great set. Now we have my most recent pull, an this is Skyla Trainer Fort from Breakpoint. I mean, there's not much to say here. It's just a, it's a great card, and it's also in great condition. Um, looking at the light, what is that? Do you see that next to before your attack? Those marks. Why are those showing up? I'm not seeing anything looking past my phone. That is so weird. That is so weird. But, you know, looks pretty good. Wait, what is that? That better just be a crumb. Okay. Sorry, never mind. It's so weird. Why is it doing that? It's almost like it looks like it's dug into. Well, maybe I'll look at this card a little closer. Um, <laughs> okay. Pseudo <laughs> Wudo Hollow, uh, shiny from <laughs> Hidden Fates. And then lastly, a surfing Pikachu. That's so cute. Okay, <laughs> next. Um, you know, I don't actually even have to cut this time. Let me just. <clears throat> get it here. This is going to be my sealed collection. Um, and when I say collection, I mean small collection. So here we have first is a <laughs> Burning Shadows deck. Um, this is the Lycan Rock Rock Steady theme deck. This is kind of cool, you know. Don't really care about decks, and I got this in a mystery box, so. I just figured I'd keep it sealed. Yeah, what are you gonna do? And I also have the 
uh, Alolan Ninetales version, the Luminous Frost Burning Shadows theme deck. So, pretty neat. I like the way it looks. Could be worth something in many, many years. Then here, we're going to go through some of my sealed packs. I don't actually have any sealed boxes. I don't have any sealed tins or anything like that. But here are some packs that I have. So, this is an EX Ruby and Zafiro. Five cartas de juego suplementarios. Juego de cartas coleccionable. So, this is a Spanish EX Ruby and Sapphire pack from 2003, I believe. That is old, old, old. And I have not one, but two, three, Septile, septile Arts, four, five, six, three Mydenas. Seven, eight, two Manectrix, and nine, ten, two Larons. So ten of these EX Ruby and Sapphire packs. They only have ten, uh, five cards in each pack, so they're very thin and light. And I'm storing them in these PSA graded sleeves, if you're wondering what these are. They fit pretty well. And they protect from dust and all that other good stuff. So, yeah, pretty neat. And then, lastly, we have my coup de gras. Dun, 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 dun. Now, you, okay, if you're thinking, oh, who's gonna show us a base set pack or a fossil pack or a jungle pack? Yes, no. I'm not rich. Okay, so this is this is the cream of the crop for me. Not, might not be for you. Dun, 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 dun. Can you see what it is? It's a Platinum Arceus pack with the blue Arceus in the front. So beautiful. Look at that. This card, or sorry, this pack was obtained by me through an eBay seller and nice guy on Instagram who he was selling okay before Pokemon boomed he was selling these vintage mystery boxes and what he did was he had an offer where you get 10 packs and one of them is a guaranteed vintage and it was $60 $60 I mean think about that now think about that and for the vintage you had a chance to get anything could be a base set could be Fossil, could be Jungle, could be Gym Heroes, could be Gym Challenge, could be anything. And I got a Platinum Arceus. And at the time, I was like, oh, really? Just a Platinum Arceus? You know? Because I'd watched videos of people opening the Walmart mystery boxes, and it's just kind of like the, the typical vintage pack they give you. It's just a Platinum Arceus. So I thought, oh, these are probably kind of worthless, right? And at the time, I think they're about $30. $30 a pack. Now on eBay, I've seen them go for $90 a pack. So, needless to say, I'm very happy I didn't open it. And I'm also very happy that the price has gone up as much as it has. And, you know, if you, you may know that this set does indeed have... I'm trying to remember what good cards are in it. And I know it has the Arceuses, but... I think when I looked up the set, there's not really any cards you could pull that make the value of the pack. So I figured, you know, it's better to just keep it sealed and have it be something nice I can look at. And that was the start of my sealed collection. So overall, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video, kind of showcasing what I got. And, you know, I'm going to be getting some new Pokemon things soon. Some pretty weird things. Some pretty normal things. Um, but maybe I can make some videos out of them and show them to you guys. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.